Schmitty Crew, you know what it do? What it do, Schmitty Crew? It's your boy, L. Schmitty, and we back. We back with our second video of the day. Right here, we got Stephen A. reacts to the Skip Bayless and the Shannon Sharp on Demar Hamlin and the Draymond Green show. So I don't know if this is collab. I don't know if Draymond Green is reacting to Stephen A. or if it's Stephen A. is on the show with Draymond Green or what's going on here. But I know Draymond Green. Don't hold back his words. Don't pull his punches on Skip. And if this is Stephen A. commenting on it, we hadn't seen what Stephen A. said. Now, I know the DeMar Hamlin situation has since passed, but I do believe Draymond Green coming back to the show is going to be pretty entertaining for y'all. This is that Draymond Green show. We'll get straight into it. I don't think it. people will ever be able to separate y'all names just because of the history mm -hmm. on first take. Mm -hmm. um, Skip Bayless yeah. uh, recently made some comments, and when, and when speaking of no mercy recently made some comments about no mercy that's the, that's that little wayne verse that they got coming coming in uh on the like every time you load up the undisputed the comments that he made live during the game i think everyone knew immediately in that moment they were wrong like uh this guy just passed out we just watched cpr be administered on live and nigga looked like he was dead on the floor. And he's all good now, continue. so we can call it what That's it is. That nigga, no that nigga looked like he was dead, bro. Keep it a buck. Everybody thought that boy just died out there see, for no reason. Not having any number one feel. Uh, he I just think didn't care. The, the feel there. He's good in the game. But no. Uh, secondly, that, that to me, I always speak about how how people view the athlete. And that's having no mercy at all for just the athlete, for the mindset. You know, we, when and you think of today's day and age and everyone, the awareness around mental health and all of these different issues. Mm -hmm. And to say that someone who, you know, Steph Curry's a brother of mine. Like, Clay Thompson is my brother. You, 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 you I'm interested in seeing what tears with these guys. Stephen A's going to say, because he kind of sees, seems a little with these guys tense. And some of the lowest of lows in life with these guys. And to say that you can just witness that, number one, as a player, let's not even look at it from DeMar's standpoint in his life. Let's just look at it from the standpoint of players, athletes in general. Okay. To say that Josh Allen can witness that and then just go call a play and throw a football, for like, real, <laughs> for real. Hey, we, I didn't even think about it that way. As as straight up as a teammate, bro. And my whole and Malik passed out on the court, and then my ass is on the bench, and I come in. You just expect me to sub in for him like that? What? About he just look like he's he's over the there on the court, no, still on the ground. I don't and you even just gonna sub go me in to the compassion for Demar and his family because that's a totally different thing, and mm -hmm. that I mean that really goes to an entirely different category. So I'm really just trying to keep it sports. But when speaking of no mercy and someone that you've worked with, what was your opinion and thoughts on Skip? Stephen A. Busy, man, he ain't concerned about this. Double down and say, oh no, I stand on that. Even after knowing the condition that he's in. I guess for me, I can respect you saying you stand on your opinion. I can respect that. But at the same time, it feels low. Nah. The, the standing on your opinion doesn't apply. Like, Draymond's a very big advocate on stand on your opinion. I'm going to just say something and I'm going to just stand on it. No. Just because you stand on some shit doesn't mean that it makes it your right or it makes it yours. You can stand on private property doesn't mean you ain't trespassing. Feel what I'm saying? St Skip Bayless, he ain't standing on nothing. Skip Bayless is the most wishy-washy person ever. For some reason, out of nowhere, blasphemy tells you that Skip Bayless likes LeBron James now. Hmm. So is he standing on that? First of I don't all, know. let me get this out the way. Skip was wrong. Plain and simple. If we were on first take together, and he was sitting across from me, I'd have told him he was wrong. Um, there's no doubt about that. And that needs to be said. At that particular moment in time, you can use a phrase, feel in the room. You can use whatever other phases, whatever other phrases that you want. But at the end of the day, it reached a point where it was not about football. It was not about games. It was about a man's life being, a young man's life being on the line. 
And I don't even think this is anything to do with race either. Like, I know he didn't bring that up, but, like, this definitely isn't a race situation with Skip. But it's just the fact, like, that nigga needs to chill out, bro. He cares about games way too much. I really wonder, like, how much do these sports people who talk about this stuff really genuinely care about sports, considering that they're not doing it. Skip, you haven't probably touched a basketball in about 20 years, bro. Touched a football in even longer. So there is no... There's no defending that. And I agreed with Shannon Sharp's position on that. Having said that, what I will say, and Shannon's I had, sell out. And there were people he's that wrote out. articles still, that Stephen A. King in defense. No, I didn't. But I did explain. What I mean by that is, number one, it's important that I preface any comment about Skip Bayless uh, in, in terms of saying this. Draymond, I'm not here today if it were not for Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless is the one that brought me on first take. And I will never walk around like I don't owe that man a lot. Fucking ass, bro. But I was about to just say, you don't owe nobody nothing, bro. You do not owe nobody nothing. If somebody does something for you and they do it out of their own kindness, unless they come to agreement like this is what... I, I need from you if I'm gonna do this for you then you don't owe nobody nothing because at the end of the day There's no saying that Stephen a you're not sitting here today if it wasn't for skip skip definitely made it easier But you can't put your success on the hands of somebody else And I I'm younger than you and I understand that but I disagree with him after I owed him that On first take every day you can appreciate so somebody without owing them that? And why wouldn't I disagree with him in the future? You ain't got nothing sure to give to him. I promise you he disagrees with what I'm saying right now. That comes with it. But remember when I talked about attacking what I someone like Skip's does not even views as no opposed more. to attacking them. Mm -hmm. I've known Skip for 20 years. I know people who despise him. I know people who think the worst of him. I know all of these different things. I'm not one of those people. That one for what, dude? I will always have love for my man. I think he was wrong, but I, I also like knew Hopkins, maybe. what mistake he made. Dre. I'm not even going to hold you. I don't watch football. So I just said DeAndre Hopkins. If that's his name, then I got a good memory. But if not, I really just said one of the blackest names that came into my head. <laughs> he's looking at the game, and here's what he's thinking about. He's seen Jack Tatum paralyze Daryl Stingley. He saw Michael Irvin on the turf at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia believably paralyzed. He just recently saw Tua Tunga Baloa get carried off the same field in Cincinnati by ambulance and was concussed. I mean, his body st stiffened up like it had rigor mortis, like rigor mortis kicked in. And throughout mm -hmm. NFL history, which Skip Bayless has been covering since the 70s, he's seen the game continue. And a lot of times people are not taking that into account. You can say we're living in a different time. That is true. We all live in a different Fair time. Point. But you also have others who hold on to a certain culture. But at the same time, that goes to say, like, that nigga's outdated then, right? That's what you're calling them, outdated. 70s, I didn't know Skip was that old. Now, sometimes they hold on to certain cultures in the world of politics. He looked that old. We but don't you like know, that. World of news. You know, white people, they don't like that. Rough. Social justice issues. Okay, like, we damn oh, sure don't like that. But in a world of sports... There's tens of millions of people who hold on to the way things used to be, which is what the new media, as you like to call uh -huh. yourself, uh -huh. right? Like to uh -huh. like to bring up how you got cats. That Jeremiah hold loves on hearing to that it. shit. He says, mm, "Yeah, that new media. Uh huh, uh huh. Say that shit again. Say it. You said, Daddy, new media. What? Mm -hmm. But I'm saying you, I Jeremiah. like that. Well, that's who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. That's the guy. <laughs> the guy that is like, this is the way that things were done." This is what customarily happened. So he wasn't tweeting like the hell with this guy's well-being or health or anything like that. I know Skip Bayless enough to know that he cares whether or not the, the DeMar Hamlin lives or dies. And people that extended themselves to accuse him of that, I think are totally wrong. But was he guilty of, okay, well, this is- It's insensitive. Well, Serious stuff has happened before. Because remember, we don't see, we don't know how, we know it's serious. We mm -hmm. know they're trying to resuscitate him, but 
We don't know the particulars. Well, okay, they're going to take him out in the ambulance, and then the game is going to continue. I know a lot of people who felt exactly that, but not necessarily because it should. They're saying it because that's been the history of the NFL. Mm -hmm. But times have changed. Okay, but the history of the NFL also had the Redskins, right? The now Washington football team, the now Commanders, right? The history of the NFL had that racist uh, 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 Raiders, Raiders coach, right? The history of the NFL is still like unguaranteed contracts, right? Hmm. Sounds like about time the history of the NFL is finally changing. And I would have said to him, fair enough. I'm a basketball guy. I'm a basketball channel. Y'all know this. I would have said, fair enough. You ain't seen no football highlights on this channel. And that same tweet could have been put out 24 hours later. Mm -hmm. And it would not have been treated with the same vitriol as it was. But unfortunately, um, he didn't have someone in his ear to tell him that. And, you know, it is what Mm. it is. It's what happens when Skip doesn't got a producer. (laughs) What the Telling him to chill out. Man is about hey, to yo. His man parts. Hey, yo. As I, I can honestly sit here and say, um, I'm not one to shy away from an opinion, as you know. Sure. I don't like Skip Bayless. I'm not a Skip <laughs> Bayless fan at all. Yeah, no. Nah, nah. um, I don't, don't think worry. Them that Skip Bayless is the, smart uh, enough to. Jim Hall wants to punch Skip Bayless. Got and it's not Cap. It's not clickbait. On the other side, the way you just did. The way okay. you just got me to see the side that he could have possibly been seeing. Okay. Um, it's special in itself, but it's also, uh, it needs to be heard because if I'm being honest, I didn't see that side at all. Yeah. I did not. Yeah, that's why he had, that's why Brother Draymond had Stephen A on the show because Draymond was about to come up in the bed and cut Skip out, I ain't gonna hold you. He was about to hit him with one of them. What of them? What did I say to Jalen Brown? What did I say to Grant Williams? About to punch him in the face. He did. You and think he punched Jordan Poole in the face? Think what he'll do to Skip? Because bro. He'll kill number one, that will help me continue to grow uh, in this space. Mm-hmm. But I think, like I said, the the world needs to hear that because, and and I think another thing that I really didn't appreciate was, even after the fact on on Undisputed the next day. It still wasn't this. It was like I stand on that, and that. Right. And it's just like ah, and 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 that's where I. Think well, that's where we're aligned. That's mm-hmm. where we're aligned because see, I was more disappointed in the next day, mm-hmm. only because all right, this is what everybody's feeling. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like because the next day, like we get it. You're live. You're on television. Whatever you're saying is your actual spare the moment reaction. But the next day, you just came home. You you had to listen to your producer tell. They said what you think that what they think you should say. Then you sat down and thought about what you really gonna say. And then you actually showed up, put on your tie, laced up your Jordans, and said, "Ah, put to hell with Demar Hamlin. I stand on that shit." Listen, because I was saying, Skip, I know you. You know you 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 know you better than that. You see what I'm saying? I Regardless of what anybody else would have been, I know sides of him I've seen. And I know he's better than that. It's like, yo, just just give it up. You know, I shouldn't have sent that text last night. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't That's the right. time and the place to do it. That's all. But, you know, he I, I can assure you, some people think that it's a prideful thing where he can't admit that he's wrong. I, I take it a step further. I don't. I don't think he thinks he was wrong at all. I think he Yeah, right. that's narcissism. Skip's a grade A narcissist. You can have a million facts, a million reasons, all sorts of different... Like, he's a narcissist. Not to mention, he's a self-absorbed narcissist. Because since he's on TV, when you televise a narcissist, you're giving them a platform for them to already think, oh yeah, everything I believe is true? She, we got a million concurrent viewers. We got two twenty thousand viewers on, on YouTube. Yeah, I'm. I know I'm right. She, she. Y'all still gonna watch? Yeah. Like when, he, when what he was telling Shannon she believed the next it. day, you know, and, and and usually I don't have time to watch it because I got my own show to do. But they came on a half hour earlier, and I knew what had transpired the day before. 
So I had to see had to if it was all right. And, you know, then I, re- then I reached out to him. I said, if you need to talk, I'm here. But he hasn't reached back. And I understand he's going through a lot right now. Yeah, no, I respect He it. just don't care. Stephen A., you need to let that man go, bro. Let him go. I get it. He's your OG. He really put you on. But, bros, he's a burning ship. Do not, do not sail with it. Yeah, and, I, and, and you being on the other side of that table and, and sitting in Shannon's spot, um, you know, like you said, Skip brought you on to the show. So at one point, you know, at, at one point, I would believe he probably had more say in the show than you did. Then you kept Absolutely. ascending and ascending. No, no, no. Totally, totally. Uh-huh. I always deferred to him, Dre, because even though I got there and my star had ascended, mm-hmm. and I, again, he had been beyond that point of going to games. He had done that for 30 so years or whatever. He wasn't doing that anymore. You know me. I love going to games. I love being Absolutely. inside that locker room. Mm-hmm. I can't as much as I used to because I got the daggone show. Skip to- loves going to the games too. Don't let him fool you. It's just they don't love him at the game. <laughs> Man, ain't nobody giving Skip tickets, bruh. Skip is paying for them tickets out of his own pocket, bro. He ain't going to them damn games. Mm-mm. They're my obligations, but anytime Mm-mm. I can show up to a game, I'll show up just so brothers can see me and talk to me. <laughs> Absolutely. But 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 with him, you know, so my star was ascending, but I was always mindful. He brought me here. That's his show. That's his show. And I and I never, never once took that away from me. So do you ESPN think a part, a, a part of Shannon feels <laughs> that way now, whereas like, I, I, I could box. see that Shannon felt disrespected. I could see that Shannon was kind of hurt. And you could just see that it was so personal to him. Being that he's been he's on a that football same football player. field, mm-hmm. he's been tackled that same so. way for 15 years. Um, Get ready for the Harlem Globetrotters 2023 World Tour, presented by Jersey Mike Subs. All... Yes, yeah, sorry. But, I, I, but I'm to... asking more so from the grand scheme. Like, so Shannon took the day off, right? And yeah. Shannon spoke about why he took the day off. Right. But do you think Shannon is more handcuffed that Skip has more say in the show and that he has to suppress a little bit more? Or do you I think, think I, that's I, just growth in I life? Think, I, I think that's natural. I think that's natural. I think that anybody in Shannon's position would feel that way. Um, but what I would tell you is this. You know, listen, I've been blessed and fortunate enough to, for first take, We've been, you know, we arrived, um, I arrived in the spring of 2012. We've been number one since. And I've been number one for 11 years. Uh, and Shannon and Skip have been the competition for the last six. Let me be very, very clear with what I'm saying. I don't know Shannon that well. We've spoken a few times over the years. I have a lot of respect for Shannon Shaw. I know it, 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 it's not supposed to be popular to say because he's the competition man, damn all of that. He's a brother. Um, I got love for him. I respect the hell out of him. Um, and every time I see him, I greet him very fondly. And I will remind everybody, he's one of the greatest tight ends in the history of football. Yes, and he's yes. a Hall of Famer. This ain't some scrub like I was. This brother was something special. Okay. <laughs> nah, we cherish your two points per game in college, Stephen A. Don't we don't forget, bro. We all know your stats. I can't tell you Shannon's stats. I know he's a Hall of Famer, but I can't. I, I know your stats, Stephen. Okay. A. And so to watch two him points. in this business, trying to do what he's doing, um, I respect the hell out of him, and I can only imagine um, the the kind of position. Uh, that he found himself in in light of Hamlin's injury, the only thing that I would say, if I if, if Shannon had come to me and asked my advice, for example, here's the only thing that I would say. It's a little floating. That's your chair. Thing. You don't give it up for nobody. That's yours. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't give a damn if you were in the chair and had nothing to say. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. And you just want to give you don't miss sitting in that chair because there's an audience out there that expected to see. Yes. Very true. Cause I clicked like, I'll be honest. I used to watch undisputed. I haven't lately. I don't really watch none of the sports people and they shows. Cause it just will, like send you into the endless loop of whatever they think's going on. And at the end of the day, nothing's really going on until something's going on, but something's always going on for them. But I used to watch them, but simply because I I want to hear that little fucking that that New Orleans that Louisiana accent from uh uh skill uh Shannon, skill, skill. 
No, no, skill. Yeah, that, that, I wanted to hear that. When every time Skip made a bad take, skill. I needed to hear Shannon's But voice. I understood him, like every single NFL player, present and former, that I've spoken to. Hearts was in the right place, going through a lot. I remember that time Kenny Smith, during the whole social justice movement, walked off the set of TNT because he didn't feel it was a good idea for him to be there. You remember that when Kenny Smith got Absolutely. up? Absolutely. Turned Absolutely. around, right? Right? Well, you know, Kenny Smith will tell lying. you I called I him. Don't. And I said to him, my brother, I love you. You know, that's my queen's brother. His brother, Vincent Smith, used to train me for crying. I lost Italian Hall in New York City when I was trying to be half the player Kenny the Jet Smith was, okay? <laughs> I idolized Kenny Smith, and I love him like a brother. You kind of look I like Kenny him Smith. And I told like him, a relative he would tell me. I said, brother, you sure that was the right decision? And he's like, Stephen A., I just felt like it was the right thing to do. I said, I get that, but that chair matters. Mm -hmm. We need to see you. And I, often, and I often think about that when I think about myself. When you turn on first take, it's one thing I'm up on vacation or I got a day off or something like that. But when some real stuff hits, mm -hmm. you turn on first You got to be there. Space. You don't shy away from nothing. 100%. And Stephen, you don't run from up. no take, I'm no headlines. Show I'm and showing up. I would encourage you. Hey, best believe. There's some trending news. Smitty going to show up, period. Period. That's what we going to call the video. Smitty going to show up. Stephen A going to show up. Y'all, Shannon Sharp, I ain't gonna lie. You a little bit of a sellout to me, but if I don't see you on Undisputed next year or whenever the end of your contract term is up, I could respect you a little bit more. Because you know you know, you got a place out in the business. I, I see you doing your little podcast. You trying to be on your Draymond Green shit. You trying to be on your new media, you know? So so just air yourself out from all that sinking shit and get away from that. And Schmidt will catch y'all in the next one. That'll probably be my last Get Bayless video. I think I said last video that the last video was my last Get Bayless video, but this really is my last Get Bayless video because I just need to hear Draymond and Stephen A's point, and that leaves it at that. That's all the professional knowledge I need to know. So, Schmidt gang, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to do some maybe music, some, some basketball. Y'all tell me what y'all want to see in the comment section down below, and I'll holler at y'all in the next. Schmidt gang, out. Oh.